Yo, what's going on, world? <sighs> been having a long past few days. Been pretty long, exhausting, a lot of thinking. But overall, we always figure out ways to get through that, right? We do. But oh, seatbelt, right? Gotta put that seatbelt on, y'all. Gotta put that seatbelt on. Gotta put that seatbelt on. Let me punch in where I'm going. So basically, uh. This ain't no particular video for my YouTube. I'm just on here. Just to say what's up. Daily vlog type shit. I'm actually on my way to, um... Where the hell is we going? I'm on my way to, um, Planet 13. I'm finna get some, some weed. I usually, I don't go here much. It's a good dispensary though, man. If you're in Vegas, make sure you check it out. It's pretty dope. It's one of the biggest ones in dispensary history. But yeah, I'm about to slide down there right now. Uh, I ain't feel like going to Reef. They disappointed me yesterday. Gave me some, uh, well, I mean, don't get me wrong. When I say Reef disappointed, it's really not Reef. I disappointed myself for picking the strand that I picked. Because um, I was a little skeptical about it. It was Zittles. It wasn't that good. Zittles cake, to be exact wasn't good at all but hopefully i can get down here and they got la confidential that's what i got the taste for i ain't had that in a long time la confidential is fire um now you gotta go to the store and get some something to cook for today you know smooth day man it's wednesday oh um, not too much going on this week like i said i just been doing a lot of thinking learning as usual and um uh, trying to always make sure my piece is good as well um, the world been pretty quiet lately though like there's nothing going on which is good it seems like maybe maybe it has been stuff going on and i just been sleeping but i've been so locked in and tuned in with myself and trying to channel my my own energy um, trying to learn new things uh create new ideas figure out new new obstacles in life uh so i've been spending my time doing that a lot um i recently just got got back from i recently just got back from cali this past weekend i was in california uh, went to go see uh ethica ethica music group uh got introduced to them got to see the warehouse everything the tour Man, I didn't get the vlog, but it was all good it's for business purposes. You know what I'm saying? That shit was cool. Uh, so I just got back a few days ago to Vegas, and it's hot as hell right now. Like, it's literally hot as fuck in Vegas right now. Excuse my language. But it's extremely hot, and uh, I don't really like being outside when it's like this at all. But I got to go out here. I got to get some weed for sure for today. And I got to... Uh, Get some food today, so I'm finna go ahead and do that. Uh, man, it's crazy. I be driving around Las Vegas sometimes, like I'm really out here. I really live in Las Vegas. It's crazy sometimes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I really live here. I live where people tour. It's crazy. It's beautiful though. I like this other side of Vegas that people don't talk about much. Uh, this side of Vegas is pretty cool too, as well. I get good peace of mind. People don't really know me much, uh, but people, you know what I'm saying? People smooth out here. It's just do's and don'ts in every area you in, you know? So you gotta play smart wherever you go. That's how I usually am, you know? But, um, like I'm saying, man, it's, uh, what month we in? We in June right now. It's getting towards July. July is my favorite month because it's my birthday month. I have zero plans on what I wanna do for my birthday. Uh, I wanted to honestly go to the Grand Canyon, but it's going to be hot as hell, and I didn't realize that, so I'm going to have to cancel that trip out, but I'm going to find something smooth to do. I know next week, I'm going to be in Orlando, going to Disney World. Y'all going to be able to see that, so make sure y'all subscribe to the channel so y'all can tune in, lock in, tap that notification bell. You got to lock in, because when that video drops, it's going to be pretty cool, me and my family. We always do summer family trips. And uh, COVID came last year, so we didn't do our annual summer trip, but this year it's back, so we out here. 
Uh, yeah, man. We're going to keep creating. But I wanted to tell you guys also, on top of the creating style, because, you know, we all artists in our own ways. And sometimes you get... You get carried, you get locked in on one thing, one artistry, and you gotta understand that to be great, you gotta be great at everything, every angle it is, from music to vlogging, from smoking weed, doing reviews. This is what I do, to, and I'm gonna be great at every angle, producing beats, uh, helping engineer music, whatever it is, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be great at everything it is that I'm doing. So. With that being said, consistency is everything. You have to stay consistent at whatever it is you're doing. And, you know, we all learn that every day as we go on in life. New things. But keep building those bricks. And you're going to get the building you're looking for. I don't know why I thought I just got pulled over. That was the ambulance. I'm tripping. But yeah, I ain't got time for that at all. But let's get high a little bit and talk. Because... It's been a crazy... Last night, yo, KD... KD did some historical shit last night. Please don't bash me. I'm smoking the wood today because I ain't got no papers. Which reminds me, I got to get some papers too. But I had a, I had a back wood left, so... Got to use it. But uh, yeah, man, KD had an incredible night last night. That's crazy. I like Milwaukee Bucks, but... Seem like in them playoffs, man, they get the tweaking. They can't keep leagues. It's crazy. It's crazy, crazy. My boy Trill just hit me. <laughs> Vegas is crazy. But yeah, beautiful Las Vegas. This type of shit you see in Las Vegas. That nigga riding too. <laughs> Typical Las Vegas. I don't even want my window down. It's so damn hot. I gotta work on some new music, man. I know people been asking, what's going on? I've been just plotting. It's been a plot year for me. But the year ain't over, so don't sleep. I just really enjoy doing stuff like this. I like talking to my fans. I like, I like y'all to see how my daily life is. It's simple. <laughs> I, do, I do what you guys do, straight up. I do the same thing y'all do. I get up, I get high, I play the game, check my emails, make some money, eat, work out, go about my day. It's that simple. Out here in Las Vegas, you gotta, you gotta mentally prepare yourself for a city like this because if you come out here, you come out here in Las Vegas thinking every night gonna be a party night. That you out here for the wrong reasons. Especially if you try to live here. Because you can't be down on that strip every day, every night. Because it'll suck you in. But it'll suck you dry as well. And I've seen it happen before. I've not heard stories of it happening. So you got to keep your mind focused. That's why out here, living out here, I stick to a routine. I got my routine. I work out. I come home, take care of my dog, take care of my family, do what I gotta do, and mind my business. I don't get out much. When I do get out, I have a great time. But, I mean, literally, bro, the strip right there. Like, it's right there. It's always down there, so it ain't nothing that I miss, you know what I'm saying? Like, even with me going down to Planet 13, I don't really come to Planet 13 much. It's down here by the strip. Cookies down here now too. I need to go down there and try them out again. See what they own. I had the cookies in LA. Never had the one in Vegas. But yeah, it's really nothing down there for me. I've seen everything. I pretty much seen it all down there. Um, 
all, all that's left is trouble, you know. And I'm at that point in my life now. I don't want no trouble, you know. But when you come out here on vacation and have a great time, do that. Have a great time. Have a great time. Feel me? Hit me up. That's the only time you'll catch me down there is if people come down here I know on vacation, I'll slide down there. Because I love saying my people. Because life too short. So, look, I'm finna show y'all right now. Hold on. Let me make sure I miss my exit. strip in your backyard so I'm coming out here damn I, I knew I was gonna miss my exit no I didn't miss my exit but yeah coming out here man it's out here like Building, trying to build it hard. Can't even lie. You know, so, like I said, you ain't gotta, you ain't gotta. Uh, if you live out here, you ain't gotta be down there every weekend. You know, it's right here in our backyard. We can come have fun anytime we want to. The, the strip never closes. <laughs> as crazy as that sound, the strip never closes. It's always open. Reef right there. Reef just busy. We slide to uh, Planet 13 today. I don't know how they be with cameras and stuff. I don't even think I'm going to come in with my camera because I ain't got time to walk in with it thinking I'm about to be able to film. And then they be like, no. You know what I'm saying? But if I can't get some footage, I'm going to whip it off of my phone. But yeah. Strip right here in the backyard, like I said, man. You ain't got to be down there. But I, I like Vegas. I love Vegas for what Vegas offers. There's so many options out here. It's a lot of options. Food, weed, liquor, you know, everything. Everything you're looking for, you can get it in Las Vegas. Seriously. That's one thing I do like about Las Vegas. And it's growing still, you know. It's a city that's growing. They got their sports teams doing their thing now. Uh, we're gonna play the 13. Show you. Yeah. The planet of the 13. I don't know why these dudes, like in a way, like I won't run somebody over. Cause I will. If you ever get in front of the Silver Charlie, you might get hit. And it will be a hit and run. So I will leave. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just talking. Make sure I got my ID. But yeah, I'm finna go ahead and type in it. I'm finna go in here and play the 13. See what they talking about. I fucking hate Planet 13. We're gonna get into that later. So I'm just now leaving out of Planet fucking 13. Let me tell y'all something. 
They found every reason in the world to piss me off. Now, mind you, I'm a cool guy. I don't, I don't really get mad. I don't get angry. You got to really do something to piss me off. But that right there was a test to see if you can push me to my limit. And they damn near did. First of all, let me get this shit together. I'm sorry, YouTube. I'm sorry, YouTube. First of all, think of my motherfucking address and song, Miss No Exes. Fucking man. I know my way around Las Vegas now. I just be acting like I don't. All right, so let's go. All right, so, like I said, I just left Planet 13. As soon as I go in, it's all cool, you know. Customer service at the front desk was nice. They were smooth people. Get inside, give them my number and everything. They got this new, what do you want to call it? They got this new way of taking people in where they take your phone number and then they text you, all right? So I gave them my phone number. Well, first I gave my old number on accident, thinking they wanted my profile number. And we're gonna get into all that. So look, gave them my, put my number in. So I go scrolling around, looking for weed. Nobody came to help. Nobody asked me, you know, I need any help. Looking at anything, which I don't need any help, but it'd have been nice to get some customer fucking service. So finally I checked my phone, the text came through like a minute. Let me put my seatbelt on. Oh, text came through. And uh, I went to the little register that told me to go to 37. But nobody at 37. I sat there for about four or five minutes. Nobody came. So I asked the girl that was at like 36. She had just walked up. I'm like, yo, you know who's supposed to be at 37? She, she tried to help, but she could have been more helpful by just saying, here, I can just take you real fast, you know? You have been waiting. So she sent me to the people in the beginning. So I go back there, put my number in, and had to wait another three minutes. So finally, I'm walking around, you know, just looking around, still looking around. I get my register, boom. Register 35, slide the register 35. Tell dude what I want. Well, he asked my name, profile. So I gave him my ID. Now, mind you, this is not my first time going to Planet 13. I've had profiles put in there for me to get a local discount and not only that, be able to get local sales. Not only that, a military discount as well. I had all that set up already. Now, I don't know what happened from now, from then into now, but clearly they said they couldn't find my profile. I looked multiple numbers up that I recently had in the past and they just couldn't find it. They looked my name up, couldn't find it. So I could tell the dude was getting blown because I wasn't letting it go. Because I wasn't going to let it go. Like, I can get my manager, and I'm just like, bro, I don't got time for managers and all that shit. Y'all could have had my profile in here. Period. So, I just said, the hell with it. You know? The hell with it. Just give me the weed. So, he bring out the weed. He tell me they don't even have the weed that I'm asking for. Why is it on display if you don't have it? That's stupid shit. But... I ended up getting some weed, um, London pound cake, and I'm definitely gonna review it for sure. I'm gonna let y'all know how it go, cause right now I just don't know. But it's some Plan 13. Y'all kind of pissed me off today, but we are gonna see how this weed smells. If y'all we can change my mood, I might not say nothing bad about you. God damn it. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna see how this shit smoke. And like I said, if it's not doing what it's supposed to do, then I'm gonna say some bad things about you guys. Y'all already made me mad, all right? But I'm gonna go ahead and let it go. And 
move on with my life. Because uh, some things you just can't control and some people's energy you can't either. And I kept my cool, as I always do. Then he tried to come at me like I was broke or something because I told him to give me another strand and it was a little bit more. He's like, it's not the same price as the other one. Like, I've been complaining about the price. I'm not complaining about the price. It's not what I'm complaining about, about at all. I don't care about the price, nigga. People crazy. But anywho, it's all love. We're going to... Um, we gonna review this a little later and I'm gonna let y'all know how I feel about it. Other than that, peace, love, prosperity, and all that good stuff. And don't ever let nobody, nobody take control of your life. Alright? Gotta take control of your life at all times. Stay motivated, stay positive, stay real. It's your boy Shine in the 618, man. You already know who it is. Subscribe, like comment do all that good stuff i don't care but rock out